Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweetener? In this tutorial, I'll be showing how you can easily edit your raw photos and color grade them in Photoshop, and how to edit a photo in Photoshop from the very start to the very end. So, simply like this video, and don't forget to subscribe if at all you're watching and not subscribed to, yet to this channel. And if at all you want to download the photos to follow along as we are editing and color grading, check the links in the description on this video so that you can download and access these photos to try out on your own so right now in order to import a photo in photoshop simply right click the image and come to open with and simply select photoshop and by the way you can like this video if at all you haven't hit the like button so whichever photo that you open in photoshop that is a raw file it is going to automatically open up the camera raw filter so with this basically we just want to look at it and analyze it so in this we just want to recover the highlights and the whites first of all because we want it to be as vibrant enough as possible so i'm just going to come right here and take the highlights down to recover the highlights and do the same for the whites just like that and you'll notice that we get back information within the sky area then we're going to come and add some tiny bit of contrast to the image and slightly open up the shadows you can see you can either open up the shadows and that is going to eliminate the shadows within the image so I'll take the blacks down and this is the before and after right now. So after I've done the basic adjustments, I'll come and play around with the colors, for example, in the sky. So what I'll do is scroll down to my color mixer panel or the HSL panel. And I'm just going to explain for you hue, saturation and luminance. When we are hewing a color, we're basically changing it. For example, the blues, you can make the blues look like a color on top of it. By moving the slider towards the left hand side and we're going to be basically making the blues like the aquas and moving it towards the right hand side is going to make the blues look like a color below it which is the purples so basically that is how he works saturation is the intensity of a given color you can either increase the intensity of the color or reduce or desaturate that given color then luminance is the brightness or darkness of a given color so in this after understanding how this basically works, we are simply going first of all come to our luminous and first of all slightly darken the blues just like that to get back some information within the sky don't overdo this because it won't look natural enough so just do a tiny bit negative 37 is fine then you're going to come to the saturation and slightly increase on the saturation of the blues then you're going to come to the hues and slightly change the hue of uh, the blues just a tiny bit I think negative let's go with around negative 40 and if at all it is too much you can always come and reduce on the saturation so to make the image pop even a little bit more you're going to come down to where it says calibration and target the blue primary so you can increase on the saturation and that is going to make the image pop a little bit more but don't overdo this just add a tiny bit of pop to your image so around 19 19 is okay so before and after so after doing that we're just going to simply open up the image in photoshop for us to do the final adjustments on it so to open up the image simply click on open and it's going to open this very image in photoshop so right now we're in photoshop and the very first thing you have to do as a photographer when it comes to editing the image is first of all knowing the intention of using the image so the intention of this for example would love to post such an image on instagram so we are just going to come to the crop tool right here and simply select it and right above here choose a ratio of 45 or 8 by 10 because when we post such an image on instagram we want it to occupy the overall screen and we don't want it to be cropped by instagram so you're just going to crop it in a ratio of 45 so we could even bring in these corners just like that so that the model can be just closer crop it in a little bit and hit enter or return so right now this is the photo that we have so in order to ed edit this image we're basically going to be using frequency separation to work on the skin area so in order to work on the skin basically you're going to duplicate this background layer by pressing ctrl j twice to create two layers from the background layer and simply rename this to low frequency 
and we are going to name this to high frequency double click to rename so after doing that we are simply going to hide the high frequency layer and select the low frequency layer so when you select the low frequency layer, remember in this layer only one remain with the colors or the skin tones so select the low frequency layer and simply come to file rather to filter then come to blind come to gaussian blur so take the radius all the way down and look at the image make sure the preview is on look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of the skin and start taking up the radius up to a point whereby you just start to close out on those details within the skin area so around 2.5 that is when i'm just starting to close out on the details within the skin because it is at a distance so the lower the radius the less details are going to be remaining with so for full body images a lower radius is going to be okay for you and for close-ups a slightly higher radius is going to work for you but always look for that fine spot whereby the textures are just starting to disappear from the image so for this case i'm just going to come and click ok select the high frequency layer now activate it simply come to image and come down to apply image so when you come to apply image it is going to open up the apply image window so under layer select low frequency layer because you want to extract the textures from the low frequency layer and since we are using a 16-bit image you're simply going to come under the blending right here and simply select add make sure the opacity is 100 percent without transparency and mask are not checked make sure the scale is 2 and offset 0 and for a 16-bit image we turn on the invert option and you'll see the textures on this gray layer so if at all you are working with an 8-bit image use a blend mode of subtract the scale type in 2 offset 128 and make sure the invert option is not turned on and you'll have the same result so for mine or for my case it is add because we are using a 16-bit image scale is 2 offset 0 i'll click ok and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and i'll get back the image the way it was meant to be so i'll put these two in a group by pressing ctrl g or you can use command g on the keyboard to put this in a group and open up the group and hide the high frequency layer so i'll just come and select the low frequency because i want first of all smooth in the skin and blend the transitions within the skin tone so after selecting the low frequency layer right there just come and right click under the brushes and get the mixer brush tool if at all it is not under the brushes you can always locate it down here so after getting the mixer brush to make sure the hardness is set to zero and make sure clean brush is selected then the option that says clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected right here with the weight of nine percent load 75 mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent make sure sample all layers is not turned on so we are slightly going to zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard or you can use command plus on the keyboard and we just want to start painting and blending the transition so if i told the mr brush tool is showing a plus icon press the caps lock on the keyboard so how to brush we simply left click and hold down and we mix the transitions between the skin tones just like that to create a nice blend and always take the strokes of the brush according or in regards to how a given area is shaped so you can see hand is moving in an up down direction follow that direction and blend those colors to even them and create that nice and smooth transition so i'm just going to mix on the hand just like that so blend those colors by painting you left click and blend a given area and if at all you are going to blend on a new area just paint so release the left click button and paint on a brand new area so basically that is how you can use uh, the mr brush tool to even out and blend the transitions between the skin tones or the skin color and have a nice result so let's first of all work on the lower part of the body before we can proceed to work on the face of the model so I'll just come to the legs right here increase on the size so you can increase on the size of the brush by using the bracket keys on the keyboard so the bracket keys are basically going to increase or decrease on the size of the mixer brush tool so I'll mix just like that on the knees just like that I think we are almost done so don't forget the face we're also going to come 
above so zoom into the face control plus and make sure you can see every detail within the face better and reduce on the size and your mix on the nose area and mix right here on the cheekbone on the cheek come and mix right here on the chin just like that you are now going to be having a perfectly edited image so you're basically trying to smoothen out skin using frequency passion by blending and using the Mr. Brush tool and if at all you are benefiting from this video simply like this video because it helps you to push and recommend the channel to many people out there so so after that just come and activate the texture or high frequency line you can say before after before after so right now we just want to remove the blemishes or skin imperfections so zoom into the image by using ctrl plus on the keyboard and get the clone stamp tool select the texture layer because the texture layer contains the blemishes so select the texture layer and after selecting the clone stamp tool the mode is normal past and flat 100 percent make sure align the selected and sample is set current layer because we want to sample and remove the blemishes from the currently selected layer so to remove a blemish hold down the option key on the keyboard and left click on an area near the blemish and simply click over the blemish so you release the option key when you're trying to remove the blemish one more time hold down the option key on the keyboard to sample clean skin and left click on a clean area uh, near the blemish and simply release the option key or the alternate key on the keyboard and left click over the blemish to replace the blemish and stamp it with a clean skin so basically that is what we are trying to do we are trying to do some clean clean up of uh, the skin and remove all these skin or little imperfections so i'm just going to remove all those tiny imperfections from the image so right now we are done removing majority of the blemishes so anything that you'd love to do as a photographer is having even skin tone so you're just going to close this group right there before after you can see what we have so just come and get the gradient map tool and select it and after doing that don't mind if at all it is showing these random colors so just come and select the gradient icon and hide the gradient layer left click on the color option then make sure the sample is set 5 by 5 average and sample is set all layers so left click on this pointer right there select color or left click on the color option zoom in and look for a, a dark area of the skin so we are going to be using this as the darkest area of the skin tone click ok click on the brightest point or, or this pointer on the right hand side left click on the color option and choose a brightest point of the skin which is around here and click ok then you're going to click in the middle and type the location Ty just type here 50 left click on the color option and choose what you feel is the mid-tones of the model skin so i'm just going to choose that so i'll choose that as my mid-tone and i'll simply click ok so after i've done that i'll simply come and hit ok activate the layer and change the blend mode from normal and change it all the way down to color and after doing that select this layer mask right here so select this layer mask and press ctrl i on the keyboard or you can use command i and come to the brushes and get the normal brush tool make sure the hardness is set all the way to zero percent opacity and the flat hundred percent and after doing that make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches so to reset you can simply left click over these tiny boxes make sure white is the foreground color or the top color right here you can switch between those colors by using x on the keyboard or you can use this arrow so with white as the foreground color you can now increase on the size and basically paint so we are just going to paint on the skin of uh, the model so i'm just going to do a quick job trying to paint so don't make if at all it is uh showing weird results because we can always come and perfect that with the opacity and deleting of the mistakes that we may have done so i'll just come and paint on the hand just like that so just take your time i'm trying to rush through because i don't want the tutorial to exceed 
16 minutes so i'm just going to paint right here paint on the hands just like that and i think uh, this is okay just come here and paint come to the lower part of the body and also create those even skin tones by painting on those areas So after painting and making sure that you have even skin tones, you can now come and correct the areas you may have accidentally painted or not painted. So switch the brush back to black because when you're painting using black, it is going to rub away or erase the mistakes that you may have done on the image. So we are painting using a black brush to rub away or erase the mistakes we may have done. Just paint there because we are not meant to paint there. And come to the face and erase it from the eyes and the lipstick just like that. So I think this is okay. Erase it from the eyebrows, from the lashes just like that. And erase it from there. And you can as well paint some on the ear just like that. So white is going to paint color grading and black is going to erase color grading. So I'm just going to erase it from these areas just like that. So after doing that, if at all you feel the effect is too much, you can always come to the opacity slider and reduce on the opacity to your liking. So before, after. And this is how you can edit an image in Photoshop. So after editing, you need to save the image. So in order to save the image, simply come right here to file, export and come to export as it's going to open up the export as window measure the quality set to jpeg and quite at the maximum make sure you check the option that says convert srgb and also embed color profile and simply click on export and choose a location where you want to save your image so this is how you can edit a raw photo and color grade it in photoshop and also do skin retouch and if at all you have enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe if at all you are watching and you're not subscribed to this channel Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in yet more videos on this channel. Don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.